In this video, I will discuss at-home revision and editing activities. When you are editing your work, try reading your paper out loud to yourself and then correct any errors that you hear. Sometimes you hear errors that you might miss when reading silently when you read something out loud. Also look over your previous essays, if you have any, and figure out which grammatical errors you have most often in your writing. You want to look for those errors specifically as you edit and try to correct them one at a time. For example, if you find that you have trouble with verb tense errors and subject verb agreement errors, first look for all the verb errors and address those, and then look for subject and verb agreement errors and fix those. Use spell check and that can be your friend as far as editing misspelled words. Also, other programs such as Google Docs has grammar correction suggestions as well. Just be careful though when you're using any type of program. I know some people use things like Grammarly as well. They're just programs. So you wanna make sure before you just start automatically clicking on the suggestions for revision that you understand what you're clicking on and it actually you are making the correct edit or revision. You can also try reading your paper backwards. So you will begin with the last sentence in your essay and work backwards to correct any errors sentence by sentence. This forces you to think more carefully about your writing than if you were reading your paper from beginning to end. Scan your essay and find the shortest paragraph. Develop this paragraph with details and examples. Now we've moved into more of the revision part of editing and revising. Consider which elements you can add, delete, move around, and replace in your essay. For example, are there any specific examples that you can add to make your ideas better supported? Are there particular paragraphs or sentences that need to be moved around so the organization and the flow of ideas make better sense? Or do you have anything that's repetitious that can be deleted? For peer editing, I have specific assignments for our course, but if you wanna have people outside of class edit your paper, this is, these are some suggestions about what you can do. Give your paper to three other people. Ask them to write any questions they have about the content of the paper in the margins. Remember questions that begin with who, what, where, when, why, and how are good to create open-ended questions. So you get more of a yes, yes, no answer out of the question. You could try giving your paper to three other people and have them circle any spelling errors that they see, but it's your job to correct the spelling. Give your paper to another three people or another person and have them make a list of three things they liked in the essay and three things they think need improvement. And give your paper to another person and ask them to write a letter to you about your essay. You can give your paper to a friend and ask your friend to put a question mark next to any unclear areas and then ask questions to indicate what in fact is unclear. And that concludes this presentation. Thank you.